could get ugly. <laughs> Dr. Greenhouse, your wife is here. Oh, hello, Doris. Get out, Ed. No, no, Ed stays. We need all the counsel we can get. He's your lawyer, not mine. Now get out. Ed, stay. Unless you'd like Ed to see me rip off your testicles and feed them through your nose, I suggest you ask him to leave. And maybe I should step out. Don't leave, Ed. 21 years I put up with your career, dragging me to all those insufferable faculty banquets. Doris, listen. God knows how many retirements and funerals. Oh, of course, my dear. Making sure, the conversation to all those intolerable Midwestern why? I couldn't have done it without you. And why, you ask? For one simple and profound reason. Yes, my love. The house on the lake. Doris, please. No, I represent. So you're blowing this up all out of proportion. <laughs> but then you, in a total lapse of reason that can only be described as, 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 as chimpanzee. Get it into your simian little brain. Now, wouldn't it be a swinging good time to break the secretary? Ed, will you please tell my wife we need to maintain composure in this situation? Situation? Here's the situation, you booty ass private. The house is mine. The marriage is over. And for all I care, you and Miss Plasma can run off to the woods and copulate the underbrush. That the green zoology has finally paid off for you, hasn't it, Doris? Well, my advice to you is to sit your wife down and tell her all about poor Miss Plasma's unfortunate mental condition. What? Let me know when we're ready to discuss our legal options. Yeah, don't, don't leave, Ed. <sighs> Do you mind if I wait here while they... Uh, oh, of course, Doug. I'm announced? No, no, no. How's she taking it? Uh, we shouldn't talk in front of, uh... Oh, don't worry. She doesn't speak any English. Oh? Buenos uh, tardes, senora. You look like a lawyer. I hate lawyers. Uh, what about the young man over there? Oh, Tim? Tim is from Vernon County, not Crawford. I think if we just keep it, you know, general. General, yeah. So, did he tell you everything? He told me some, yes. Do you think I did the wrong thing, Ed? Don't tell him nothing. I mean, with the 581 form and, and getting Osher involved. Oh, that all depends on your intentions. You get your own lawyer. Are you sure she doesn't understand? No, not a word. And you No, no. So how do you two... To... The pains and passions of being a woman, Ed. It's a universal language. <laughs> I would know about that. Well, tell me here, what's going on between you and, uh... The gentleman? With whom I am not ashamed to say I had a totally loving and romantic affair with this summer. Yes, that. What was the question? Well, first off, why did it end? Why did it end? Well, he'll probably tell you it's because he lost interest. But I know what's really going on. It's his career. There is nothing, nothing more important to him than being director of Kaja. In charge... <laughs> oh, did I say Kaja? Well, I meant to say... Well, I don't know what administrative office or unit I meant to say, but it certainly wasn't Kaja. Very well, my dear. Continue. <laughs> Why did it end? Well, it certainly wasn't about saving his marriage. I think he would leave Doris in a heartbeat. Oh, I mean his wife whose name I won't mention. If there were just some way to protect his position. Well, is it necessary for you that he actually leave his wife? I'm sorry, what? I mean, is there some sort of moral thing that prevents you? I am not in a moral. Person, Ed. No, no, I'm sure you're not. Hmm. Did you know, Pamela, that in France, I'm told, a man and woman will carry on an affair for many years, decades even, just as long as everyone keeps it, you know, quiet. Those French, aren't they something? Mm -hmm. And another thing I've read is that in some African villages where they all live in, uh, you know, huts, about 2 o'clock in the morning, if you take a peek outside, you'll see all of these people 
men, women, young, old, all sneaking around under cover of darkness. Bears? <laughs> exactly. And nobody has a problem with that? Well, they don't go broadcasting it to the world. No, of course not. So we're on the same wavelength there. and quite available. But for the moment, I'm trying to help out our friend. Oh, I gotcha. So you understand what I'm trying to say. Were you trying to say something? <laughs> I think he's saying you should just keep sleeping with the dog butt. Tell his wife you're mentally unstable. Take back everything you said and go see our shrink um, for a couple of months on a university time. Did she just say duck butt? <laughs> Juanita and I share everything. Senora, this is a private conversation. In your return, you get a raise, a promotion, and Monday mornings off, or you go straight to the papers. <laughs> so you see, my dear, this poor girl is mentally deranged. Page of office. I'm sure with a little psychiatric help, she'll retract all those horrible lies. I'm sorry, but he's in a very important meeting right now. Even if what you're saying is true, she cannot work here another day. Of course not. She'll be transferred immediately. Don't worry. I can keep a secret. She didn't sound deranged in that email. Okay, okay. You don't have to shout. I'll put you through. You know how hard I work to get where I am. Do you think I'd be so impetuous as to throw it all away for a Cheap thrill. Let me get this. Please, on line one. Let me get this, dear. There's been a break-in at the biotech center. Bioterrorism has not been ruled out. Let me check to see how they're doing. Get in here, Ed. Is all of this true? This is Alan Greenhouse. The hallucinations, the flashbacks, her stint with the CIA. Yes. <laughs> Yes. Well, Doris, it's difficult for us to know how much of what she says is true and how much we have to, uh, you know, work with. Oh, my God! When was she last seen? Yes, yes, I'll be right here. Keep me informed. What is it, more bull semen? Gloria Hightower. Hightower? Wasn't she on PBS? The local affiliate, yes. Yeah. <laughs> they say she's a renaissance woman. <laughs> Got her career started in literature? Yeah, Irish poetry. Got tired of that, took up economics. Yeah, flip flop. And probably some new theory. Yeah, yeah, deep economics. That's it. What do they mean, deep? They don't use numbers. <laughs> What's their latest thing? Molecular neuroscience. Could we please get back to the matter at hand? Oh, what is happening to this world? Can I help you? I would like to speak with Alan Greenhouse, if I may. 